we've got three very easy mountain lion out there and we've got a nine legendary mountain lion out there wow okay What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back out in Silver Ridge Peaks grinding for a Diamond Legacy Mule Deer before the Truax drop on August 11th. I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I would appreciate it so much. I appreciate you all that have already subscribed. We're getting close to 300 subs. If you guys haven't already checked out Lady Legend XO's channel, be sure to do that. She's making some incredible Call of the Wild content. I'm going to leave a link to her Insane Hunt in Yukon video down below. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this video oh my gosh oh <laughs> that's a five medium rocky mountain elk now ladies and gentlemen i have to admit that's the first five medium rocky mountain elk that we've seen since silver ridge peaks came out which is crazy but it's true he's a 405 to 521 Oh, we might actually have a diamond Rocky Mountain Elk here. I'm not exactly sure of the math there. What's what's going to happen here? Um, 405 to 521. I don't actually... I think it's like 485 you need for a diamond. So I don't think he's going to make diamond. I don't think he's going to make diamond. That kind of puts a damper on the situation. It's cool to see a 5. But uh, according to math, he shouldn't make diamond. We're still going to remain hopeful. Honestly, he doesn't really quite look like a diamond. So I think we'll hang out behind him and wait for him to turn. Hopefully he'll turn for us. Oh, here we go. This will be better over here. Oh, that's perfect. That's just perfect. All right, we got the 300. And he's down. And let's go see what we got. I don't think, uh, you know, according to the math there, this shouldn't make diamond, I don't believe. Especially taking into account that I think it's like 485 minimum diamond requirement for the Rocky Mountain Elk. But we'll find out. And here he is. And he is huge. Really, really nice. We'll get a photo of that. Very cool. Okay, we'll pick this guy up, see if he makes diamond. And he doesn't. He's a gold. He's a 463.5. So he misses diamond by quite a bit. So this is probably the probably the very low end of the fives. Definitely a small five. It was 172.06 yard shot with the 300. It's a thousand cash. And we'll keep on searching. A whole bunch of elk and mule deer. It looks like all female elk. We don't have any bulls in there. And it might be all female. Oh, we got a couple. We got a small buck in these mule deer. Ooh, that's a big four easy mule deer. So that's on the big side of the 419 to 550. I'm going to say, well, not really on the bigger. So oh, we got another. Oh, that's a bigger one. Okay, there's two of them. But we're going to go for this guy first. We might be able to take them both. But this guy's going to score probably like a 450, 460 from what I'm looking at here. If I'm not mistaken. And that's another one. We've got a third one. So we could maybe take a shot on this guy without spooking this herd. But it's going to be close. They're only about 260 away. We got more mule deer joining them. Just tons of mule deer out here. Don't know if we can get a shot on this guy without spooking that herd. But that would be good. Maybe if we just shift a little here. Get a little bit further away from that herd. He's about 150 out. So I think this might work. Probably at about 300 yards away from that herd now. And that might just be far enough. Ooh. So that'll bring him down. Let's go take a look. Doesn't look like we spooked the elk. That's a good sign. We didn't spook them either. That's perfect. Okay. So this guy has turned. We'll just get past all these trees, shift to the right a little bit. We got a good wind, so we're good on that note. We kind of do have a shot there on both. 
So we might just go for that. He is, yeah, he's definitely bigger. Okay, we're going for him first. And they're both going down. All right, so here's the first of the three bucks. This is the guy that was by himself. Let's see how he scores. He scores a 458.9. That is a big buck. He's actually a little bit bigger than I thought. It's a higher score than I was expecting from him. We got left lung thoracic vertebrate on the shot from 145.42 yards with 30 odd six. We get 1200 cash for that. So we'll see about these two, but I thought that the biggest of the three bucks was in this herd. 419 to 550 score, they can make diamond, but I don't think I've ever seen one score higher than like a 465, which is really interesting because that's technically on the low end of that estimate. All right, so I'm not actually 100% sure which is which here, but I think this is the guy that was in the front. We'll pick this guy up first. He scores a 468.8. This guy is massive. We got double lung on that shot from 194.37 yards. So he doesn't miss diamond by too much. He's on the big side of gold. Really, really nice. And this guy's huge too. He's probably going to score similar. This guy's a 486.6. Yeah, and this was the guy in the back. He just misses diamond. Like, not by much at all. We get left humorous left lung on that shot from 203.98 yards with 30 odd six. And he is just massive. And he's a blonde. Very cool. Very nice mule deer. There's a big mule deer in four easy four yeah that's a big one that is a big one it's a big four if i can get a spot on this mule deer you know what we could probably just take the shot i can see him enough when his head is up like that i feel like i can see him just barely enough It's another decent sized buck. He scores a 444.9. That's a nice big buck. We got right lung on the shot from 220 yards with the 30 odd six. And that's another thousand cash. Got a herd of big pronghorn bucks taken off here. These are like all males. And that's a five. Nice. Okay. 87, 112, five medium pronghorn. I spooked them off, but they should just go to the other side of the lake and start drinking again. Their drink time's not over. But then again, it is kind of almost over, so they might not come back. We might have to reset the time. Looks like they are stopping. So let's see what they're gonna do here. Looks like they've stopped up, maybe just temporarily. I don't know if they're actually gonna stay in there. I don't know if I actually even want them to. Those are some thick trees. Looks like some of them have turned around. Oh yeah, some of them are coming back. So we'll just get ready here with our gun. We got 30 out of six. And hope that he's one of these guys that turned around. Some big fours in there. It's kind of hard to tell. There he is, there he is. There you are, buddy. Now if you turn for me, That was a miss. I'm zeroed for 328. Well, that was a fail. Luckily, we didn't just mess that up completely because we were zeroed for 328. Whoops. Don't do that at home, kids. Always check your zeroing. Oh boy, okay. Well, it looks like they're gonna come back. They're actually gonna come back, okay. So we'll get another shot at this, it looks like. He's just over that ridge, it looks like. Not him. Some wonky horns on that guy. There he is. He's in the back there. So we'll get a spot. Bingo. One sixty-three. Okay, he's gonna give us a shot. It looks like. And he's down. Perfect. We got a couple extras in there, so let's go see. We might have another diamond pronghorn. That would be, I believe, our fourth diamond. So this guy was, I believe, a four easy. Maybe might have been a three actually. 
He was a four easy, scored an 85.5. We got double lung liver on the shot from 111.62 yards with the 30 odd six. He's got a wonky set of horns on him. 1,167 cash. We'll take it. We need it. We got to do some cash grinding, guys. I was thinking about doing it like a goose grind before this, but I wanted to just jump straight in. We're trying to get a legacy diamond mule deer. We're getting some cool stuff in the process, but we have not found our legacy diamond mule deer on Silver Ridge Peaks yet. Hoping that that happens soon. This guy, don't believe that's our five. That is our five. And he is a diamond, 100.3. I don't know why he didn't look like the diamond to me, but he is. He's got that really cool curl on his horns. Heart-shaped rack there, really awesome. We got right lung liver stomach on the shot. 155.85 yards out with 30-06. That's another diamond pronghorn. That's two in a couple days for me, so we're getting lucky with the pronghorn. And that's a big score. That's our second biggest diamond pronghorn. And 1,242 cash, and we'll put him in lodge. We got a three very easy mountain lion out there. And we've got a nine legendary mountain lion out there. Wow, okay. Kind of looks like a dark red as well. All right, he's bedded down about 300 yards out. It's about 250 yards out. I'd like to get just a little bit closer. But uh, he's broadside bedded down, which is just fine. It's 250. We're not going to get too much closer than that. thinking right here is probably going to be where this is going to have to happen. There we go. Okay. The shot is good. And he's down. And here he is. And that does look like a dark red 9 legendary mountain lion. Should have a nice diamond mountain lion here for the trophy lodge. We'll pick him up. He is a diamond, 39.2, and he is a dark red. That is super cool. We got double lung on the shot from 241.65 yards with the 30 odd six, and that is incredible. Taxi that. Super stoked to have found this guy. That's gonna wrap this one up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button. It really helps the channel if you do. So if you enjoyed this, smash that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Feel free to join the Discord. I will leave the link down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.